Anyway. Welcome to Bucky's. It doesn't let me um switch in between with the DJI app. I put a roundable up here. <laughs> oh, I almost blocked for right now. You can't go all the way around it yet. <laughs> they got all these damn cops up here. Mm -hmm. Do you blame them? Well, I ain't going that way. I'm going this way. Well, I heard, I saw online and it uh, opened for first responders the other day. Friday, yeah. We well, ain't got the sign on yet for gas. Mm -hmm. No semis. Car wash, why build them? I don't. This one. Crossville one don't have a car wash, but this one does. Yeah. Look, they, they didn't even get time to grass to grow. Mm -mm. I think I'm going to use the native app. Look, even WMVK's here. Mm hmm. Yeah, the morning show did their uh, remote from up here. Hey, there's a Tesla. Watch your trail's car. <laughs> you just like build a break. Come on, car, go. Oh. You're waiting because I've been sitting there longer than you have. Buggies. New stock, 98 Sailor. Which I think is still owned by the same people. Oh, oh, okay. oh yeah. There's two WMK bands here. Mm -hmm. One of them probably rode in the new, meet, probably one, new sock probably one of those. No, one's the live remote truck and one's just their regular truck. Because mm -hmm. one of them's set up with all the broadcasting equipment. One with the speakers on top is their broadcast truck. Mm -hmm. It's got the transmitter and stuff inside to send back to the station. He's like, I got my fucking shit. <laughs> It's like I'm being you and your old. <laughs> Look, damn, so much money made already. Loomis had to come pick something up. <laughs> Wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> Me neither. What are you doing now? I'm going to attempt to get a spot up front, which I doubt is going to happen. Yeah, Look. The news. Look, I see someone on camera. WBLT. Yeah, people are fired. Hey, this is a motherfucking. Come here, boy. Yeah, that's their transmitting van, which means they're going to do live remotes from here. It's the only reason why they'd bring it. Well, they were already doing. They were already live this morning. Once. It's going to kill. It's going to kill my mom to have her to actually see it says cerebral. Then you told it. Yeah, we can get a spot up here. I zoomed in. Says this is the severe bull exit. Yeah. That's why they the address is, And the address don't say Kodak, Tennessee, I don't think, does it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> well, we, we got bought out by Kodak. Yeah. Happy Bucky's Day! <laughs> I think so. I can't, I won't know. It's all that. It's just Everything the choppers get You see chasing the You see the You see the You see the the You see the You see the You see the You You're like the, the main star right now, man. It's had you on camera more than anything. I don't have the face lock one or whatever. But you're like... It's a good thing because we'll be locking on everybody. 
Well, I've been like right behind you too, so. Yeah. You're like the, the main star right now, man. It's had you on camera more than anything. I don't have the face lock one or whatever. But you're like. It's a good thing because we'll be locking on everybody. Well, I've been like right behind you too, so. Think about the AI thing, you can select it up to multiple videos. You know what I'm gonna do before you put this video together? You think I'm gonna be doing what I think about doing? What? Let's see if anybody's got a drone shot today. Yeah, that, that's something else I want to invest in is a drone. <laughs> I saw this one on the DJI. Well, that's the uh, Apple website. 
also sells the DJI ones. Yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> You're gonna need to do the expansion on that. Why? Yeah. Oh yeah, it looks like they're getting ready to start it. Put it up yourself or does it have a button? No, unfortunately I gotta put it myself. I'd say front row, man. Where's ribbon? Hey, which one's top? Everybody look up at the podium for just a second. I know y'all are excited. We all are, okay? Before this starts, I need everybody. It's not going to start until everybody does it. Not that. Take six steps back. Media, you're good where you're at. I need everybody to take six steps back. We're not going to start until that's finished. People over here on the sidewalk, I know you have a good vantage point. I apologize. I need that sidewalk. I need everybody off the sidewalk. Once that happens, we are close to starting. If I can get everybody here, I apologize to move this way behind the media, please. Also, I apologize. If you are a non-speaker or non-dignitary, I also need you guys over here. I apologize. There's more room in the middle if you need a good focal point for your cameras. There's plenty of room in the middle, guys.
need everybody to step back. No, no, absolutely not. Listen to me. Unless you are authorized to be up here, nobody else is allowed up here. Okay? That is for the safety of everybody. Thank you. Shirt, man with the red hat, I need you guys to take six steps back, please. I'm not going to ask you again or you will leave. Six steps back. Thank you. People that are just joining us, if you will vacate the sidewalk and come out here, please. I appreciate it.
Is everybody excited? Yeah! Yeah! Okay! Welcome! What a great day to celebrate the grand opening of the world's largest buckies! Right here! Right here in Sevierville, Tennessee. I'm Brenda McCroskey. I'm CEO of the Sevierville Chamber of Commerce. And we're so pleased that Bucky's has chosen to make this significant investment in our business community. You know, the excitement and interest that Bucky's creates is palpable. In the past few months at the chamber, we've talked to people from all over the country, and they're Bucky's fanatics. Sometimes they travel specifically to visit a store. <laughs> And they almost always make the point to stop at every Bucky's along their journey. It's truly a fan favorite and something we know will be wildly successful here in Sevierville. Bucky's will be the first of many ribbon cuttings that we will have together on this property. We look forward to the continued development of the 407 Gateway to Adventure. So, on behalf of our city and the Chamber of Commerce, thank you for choosing Sevierville. We look forward to many years of success together. Now, let's start off our program in a good way. Our county mayor has overseen continuous economic growth over his state record 45 years in office. Let's welcome County Mayor Larry Waters. Thank you very much, Brenda. Uh, she said 45 years. I want you to know I started when I was really young. I want to welcome you all here today and say thank you for being here. You know, uh, uh, I especially want to say something uh, to Beaver Alpin, who's one of the owners of Bucky's. Uh, what a great job marketing they uh, have done. My granddaughter, Amelia, would rather go to a Bucky's as go to Disney World. That's how great a job she's here today. So she loves Bucky's as I know you all do. Uh, so what a great day here in Spearville and Spear County that we have. I want to begin by recognizing a few folks. And if you would just hold, uh, uh, hold your applause to the end. First, we have a number of countywide elected officials here, including all of the office holders at the courthouse and our county commission who've been very supportive. If you're one of the countywide elected officials, please raise your hand. If you're in the audience or up here, thank you all for being here and thank you for what you uh, do. I want to take just a moment to recognize our uh, state folks. We have uh, a couple of state senators, Senator Sutherland, uh, raise your hand. We have uh, uh, Senator Nicely. Uh, we also have our two House members. We have Representative Carr and Representative uh, Farmer with us today. Would you join them in welcoming these state officials? Thank you all for being here. Thank, thank you for your support for Sevier County and Sevier. Also, I will mention that we have uh, our U.S. representatives. We have uh, our Congresswoman um, uh, here. Congresswoman Harshbarger is here. We have Senator Haggerty, and we also have Senator Blackburn. They're going to say a few words in a moment, but welcome them uh, to Spearville and Spear County. Thank them for being here today. They all do a great job for representing us in, in D.C. <clears throat> I especially uh, today want to thank uh, the Cherokee Nation. I think Mr. Richard French is going to speak on behalf of Chief Sneed today but uh, they are responsible for this whole development. They've done a great job and I appreciate uh, them. I appreciate working with them as I know uh, 
Mayor Fox is going to mention that as well. Governor Lee and your state uh, folks have been tremendous in working with us, and we appreciate the support of the administration, and we look forward to continuing to work with them on making improvements in Sevierville and Sevier County. Uh, the folks in the city of Sevierville, they'll be introduced here, but they've worked very hard as well uh, to make this a reality. You know, Bucky's is owned uh, by uh, Beaver Alpin and Don Washick. I don't know if Don is here, but I know uh, Beaver is here, and we thank them uh, certainly uh, today uh, for being here, for making this. is going to be the largest, at least for a while, they're building another one in Texas, but this is going to be the largest Bucky's in the United States when it opens. Is that right? That's, that's right. And let me say, the fact that it's the largest uh, Beaver, it will always have more folks visiting and spending money here than any Bucky's you've got. That's the main thing, isn't it? <laughs> so we appreciate that. We know uh, uh, that Bucky's was started in 1982. Uh, they expanded in, uh, into convenience stores in 2003. We know in 2018 uh, that they expanded all over the southeast into other states. They're in six states now. Just think how fast they're growing. Uh, they are in six states. They have plans to go in six more states. What a great organization uh, that they have. They're known for the great food, the briskets. We're all going to go in and have a bri brisket after a while, aren't we? I know I am. They're known for clean restrooms and the merchandise that they have. Uh, you know, there's not a Walmart in the nation that beats a Bucky's, is there? <laughs> what great community partners that uh, Bucky's will be and ER here in Sevier County and Sevierville. They do so much for the community. They're going to provide uh, good jobs for our community and, and economic development. They're going to be uh, the anchor here at the gateway to the Smokies that the Cherokees are development. We're going to have a lot more groundbreakings here in the future uh, just so you can see what a tremendous job that they're doing. So I thank you all for being here. What a great day. And as soon as this is over, speaking on behalf of Beaver and the Bucky staff, as soon as this is over, go in and spend all the money you can. Thank you. Another cheer for Bucky's. in our community, in the county, and the city, and I would like to introduce a man that I've had the privilege of knowing for many years. He's a longtime Sevierville police chief before he retired and became Dollywood's chief, chief of security, so he knows a thing or two about creating a fun and safe environment. His roots run deep in service and love for Sevierville. Please welcome Mayor Robbie Fox. Thank you, Brenda. I was going to step up, grab the microphone, and just drop it and say Bucky's is open, but that didn't work out. Good morning. I'm truly excited to be here this morning. Uh, this has been quite a journey, by the way. Before I get started, I would like to recognize and thank some very important people in my world. Obviously, these elected officials are here to support us. We very much appreciate that. Uh, but the folks I want to recognize are our Alderman, Alderman Wayne Helton, Alderman Mitch Rader, Alderman Travis McCroskey, Alderman Joey Owen. Uh, let's give these gentlemen a hand for what they do for the citizens of the <clears throat> Also want to recognize Mr. Russell Treadway, our esteemed city administrator, Ms. Lynn McClurg, and Mr. D or Ms. Lynn McClurg, our city recorder, and Mr. Dustin Smith, our deputy city administrator. If you would, please give them a big hand. They're very much responsible for what happened. Also on behalf of the city, uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank our partners in this. Uh, and I'll get the, go through the list. Principal Ch uh, Chief Richard Sneed and the Tribal Council of the Eastern Band of the Cherokee Indians. They are the driving force behind the project in the 407 Gateway Adventure. If you would, help me thank them. Also, Mr. Mark Cole of Kadu and his team for all their efforts and hard work. I also want to thank Mr. Matthew Cross and Mr. Lewis Frazier uh, 
for their uh, what they have done to bring this together. He would also be wrong if I did not give a shout out to Mr. Alan Newton of the Smith County Economic Development and his staff. Actually, I think Emily did most of the work, but that's uh, his staff. Uh, and what they've done to help facilitate the project. I especially want to thank Mr. Beaver Applin, one of the founders of Bucky and his team for choosing Sevierville as the absolute best place in the world to build the world's largest Bucky. I think I can use that, can I? Okay. All right. Thank you, sir, uh, for your faith in the city's future. I appreciate the distinction of having the world's largest buckies here in Sevierville, Tennessee, but I understand that distinction will be short-lived, and I hear that a larger one is already planned and may even be under construction in the, in the state of Texas. Yes, in Texas. We know that everything is bigger in Texas, and this new store will be a thousand feet. They had to just make it a thousand feet bigger, I guess. Uh, but it's like Larry said, people still come here and spend the money. And we're going to shout that from the rooftops that we have the world's largest buckies. You get to drift on the world's largest. Okay, we're very proud of that fact and appreciate it very much. We certainly uh, wanted to know uh, what to expect going forward as, as uh, government employees and, and uh, part of the uh, group. So we did what any self-respecting government officials would do. We formed a team, actually a foursome if you will, and headed out on a fact-finding commission uh, to the Leeds, Alabama store. Now, I liked everything there except for one. They had Alabama shirts, and I didn't care much. <laughs> Upon arrival, it was interesting to watch the heavy traffic coming in and out of the facility. They were lined up, backed up from the pump to the interstate. The parking lot was packed, and people were everywhere. The retail was packed, and food and snacks on one end and t-shirts, grills, and deer stands on the other. The store was immaculate. There is no better way to describe it. We met with Mr. Stan Beard there. Uh, he's part of the corporate group, and he took us on a tour of the food production. I remember being in the kitchen and watching how the food was being prepared. That made me want one of those brisket sandwiches. <laughs> so I got one. I also remember a gentleman out front uh, with a large cleaver uh, cutting meat on a cutting board and about every 10 minutes he would holler we've got brisket on the board we've got brisket on the board it was fun to watch their employees and this morning I went in to watch what was going on out there their employees have a great like time working here and I know you're gonna have a great time inside um, after watching the traffic flow uh, and the people coming in and out of the store carrying those large packages we knew we had to have one of those in Sevierville we also know that this would have a huge impact on our city's annual budget. Now, I kind of like that, just in case you're wondering. I really like that. There's no doubt in my mind that this, the world's largest buckies will be a resounding success. The city of Sevierville will do everything we can to ensure that success. Now, 4,302. Your obvious question is, what, what does that number mean to me? That, ladies and gentlemen, will be the number of people who have asked me when is Bucky's going to open. I'm ready to cut the ribbon when you are, and then have a brisket sandwich, a muffin, and a coke. Thank you. Thank you, Robbie. Um, as you all probably know, Gatua, the tribally owned and operated economic development organization, invested an initial 13.5 million in the over 200 acres surrounding this exit and have worked with Knoxville-based OE experiences and they're quickly developing this entire acreage into a new entertainment experience. So you'll hear more about that. Uh, next up, I would like to introduce Chairman Richard French of the Eastern Band of the Cherokee Indians and the Tribal Council. Chairman French. Good morning, thank you. Uh, first of all, I'd just like to say we are happy uh, to be working with uh, such a great group of people. We look forward to doing a lot more work here, developing this project here. I uh, just want to thank uh, Beaver also for uh, bringing Bucky's here. And also, uh, he was even on the Today Show this morning, the largest Bucky's opening in Sevierville, Tennessee. So, they say everything's bigger in Texas, but not today. It is in Sevierville. So, 
I uh, just want to uh, send the apologies out for the chief and vice chief had some things come up and weren't able to attend today. Uh, so we'd like to say we just were looking forward to uh, a lot more adventure and, and stuff working with uh, everyone here in Tennessee and uh, looking for more development here so uh, people can come. Uh, on here, I want, we want to uh, give some uh, gifts out for, uh, we've got three here, I've got Cameron, if he can come up and help me. Governor Lee. Senator Haggerty. Senator Blackburn. Also, we want to thank uh, Commissioner Azell. Mayor Fox and Waters, and all the Tennessee representatives. Uh, Beaver Applin, founder of Bucky's. We want to thank you for uh, building the Bucky's here on the, on the project here. Also want to uh, send a thank you out and, and recognize all the tribal council that are here today. If you'll raise your hand, be recognized. This is about half of our tribal council. We have 12 members. Uh, the Kadua LLC. We have our EBCI royalty that travel with us and represent the tribe for us. And I just want to also thank all the members of the Eastern Band that made it over today. But like I said, this is a great day for Eastern Band, but it's also a great day for the state of Tennessee, and we look forward to a lot more ribbon cuttings to come along. So thank you all. Have a good day. Thank you, Chairman French. Uh, we are very honored to have our U.S delegation here. We have several people on the federal level. In fact, they're all three. So we are very honored. And first, we would like to hear from U.S. Congresswoman Diana Harshbarger. I'm not as tall as the rest of them. But listen, it's a pleasure to be here today. It's a beautiful day, and this is a beautiful Bucky's. And, you know, from Tennessee, we gave Texas Davy Crockett and Sam Houston. And look what we got in return. The first largest Bucky's in the whole country. So I think it's great. Uh, it's an honor for me to represent the first district, and we're number one for a reason. And I tell all my colleagues down the state, you can't take that away from us, being number one. And it's the elected officials that are standing behind me that work for this county. You're looking at Mayor Waters, Mayor Fox, and all, all the fine folks that represent us on the state level and then the federal level. But this is a good day to be in Tennessee. And remember, we are the first largest Buckies in the country. And with that... We are honored to have you here. And we also have our senior senator, U.S. Senator Marsha Blackburn. Thank you all. What a delight to join you. You know, it's so important to realize government does not create jobs. We create the environment for jobs growth to take place. And when you look at your local elected officials, your state elected officials, our great governor, who is making certain Tennessee is the best place to live, to work, to rear your family, and as we're finding out, the best place to move your business. And we know that that is one of the reasons that Bucky's chose to come to Sevier County, Tennessee. Also, they know they're going to have the best workforce on the face of the earth, right? All of these good Tennesseans. And as Congresswoman Harshbarger was saying, there would not be a Texas without Tennessee. And uh, 
We also need to realize things might be bigger in Texas, but they are better in Tennessee. And today is proof of that. Thank you all. That was good. Thank you, Senator Wagner. We like that. And last but not least, we have a wonderful surprise in Senator Bill Haggerty. Thank you for being here, Senator Haggerty. So welcome, everybody. It is great to be here with you today. It's a point of pride for me to be back here standing in this very site when I think a little more than three years ago, I sat, I stood here with Matt Cross talking about a vision of what this place might be. If you look around today, you've seen Bucky's go vertical here. This is a magnificent investment. Just look over here. You can see the, the, the groundbreaking here. This is a tremendous asset for Tennessee. I mean, step back and take a breath. How picturesque is this? It's absolutely spectacular. We're showing the best of Tennessee here today. An absolutely great workforce. A tremendous amount of effort has gone into the investment here. I want to thank the tribal leaders for making the investment. I want to thank the people like Matt Cross and his team for the development. The Blaylocks have done all the work to get us right here on this side today. And I certainly want to thank Bucky's and their management team for choosing Tennessee, the best state on the earth to do business. Thanks to all of you. Thank you, Senator Haggerty. We're so glad you're here. Um, now I get to introduce a man who is in my industry, and we are so happy that Governor Lee asked him to be the Tourism Commissioner. Mark Ezell has been a strong champion and proponent of our industry. He's been very successful in taking our Tennessee up the ranks nationally in the country. We're so proud of him. He's been a voice for us. He's been a champion. His enthusiasm is unparalleled, and we are appreciative of him. Please welcome Tennessee Department of Tourist Development Commissioner Mark Ezell. Thank you, and what an exciting day. This is a big deal. I mean, to have the blessing of our federal leaders with Congresswoman, both of our United States senators here, to have the members of our General Assembly, and I can tell you, getting to work with them and promote tourism is a real thrill for me because they get tourism. This county spends, and really the first thing I want to do is say thank you to you, the people of Sevier County and the surrounding counties, for the way you welcome visitors. And Bucky, what I mean, Beaver, what you're going to really enjoy about this community is that we may not stay the largest size store, but we're probably going to say the most attended store. We got the most attended national park in America. And they set records because they know how to take care of visitors. And we know you and your company knows how to take care of visitors and treat them very well. So we're just so thrilled to be well, here. They, they Thank you to the businesses work. that are doing so this. And then your local leadership day. is amazing so they, in right, taking just, care of that curious. customer. So it's my honor to get to say, uh, to introduce this next person kind of as he has helped fund tourism projects along with the General Assembly that have allowed us to set some records. He'll probably mention a couple of those that we are doing, and no one's doing it more than East Tennessee in just Sevier County and Knox County and those surrounding contiguous counties. You have more visitor spending than 12 states in America. Just those nine counties led by Sevier County. Give yourselves a hand. It's a tremendous feat. And we get to use that visitor spending on benefiting the 7 million Tennesseans. So whether it's helping work with the General Assembly and the rest of you in creating the fastest growing economy or the lowest per capita tax rate or helping fund tourism, it is my honor, and he is accompanied by the First Lady today, it is my honor to introduce our 50th governor, Governor Bill Lee. Thank you, Mark. Boy, thank you all for coming out here. Isn't it great to live in the greatest state in America? Yeah. We do. And 
when you live in the greatest state in America, and, and by the way, I like to say, you know, people in this country have decided that this is one of the greatest places in the country. It's why we have so many people moving into this state. It's why we have so many people visiting this state, the fastest growing tourism state in the country uh, as related to dollars spent by outsiders, companies moving from all over America into Tennessee. Uh, you know, people look around this country and they see a lot of things, but when they look to Tennessee, they see a place that reminds them that America hadn't lost her way. And we have it in this state, and that's why we are the best state in the country. And I am honored to be here today. There are a whole lot of people. This is a big deal, as was said. When you have your U.S. senators, your U.S. congressmen, when you have the leadership and the members of the House and the Senate and the General Assembly, and by the way, I think Representative Jeremy Faison was not name called out, but he, he is here as well, along with the others whose names have already been mentioned. Those are the folks that we get to work alongside with every day. But when you have all of this, county mayors, the, the tribal leaders, it's representative how big a deal this really is. And as the governor of this state, whenever I get to see the people of Tennessee acknowledge the greatness of this state, it, it reminds me of the honor that we have here. I'm very, very fortunate to be in this spot, and we are very fortunate to be Tennesseans. We, we have so many things going for us in this state. You know, we don't create jobs, as Senator Blackburn said. This state does create an environment. It's why we're investing in transportation in this state. It's why we invest in tourism. It's why we invest in workforce development, to make sure that more and more Tennesseans have access to opportunities so their lives can be better. Maria and I, and I'm so proud and so honored to be standing here alongside my wife. Please uh, recognize First Lady Maria Lee. We are, we are so proud uh, to be living in this state, to be able to represent you, and we thank you for it. I, I have the enough thank yous for all the folks that have been here. Special thank yous to you. It's the people of Tennessee that make this state great. It's not, the, it's not the elected officials or the leaders that work to serve you. It's the people of Tennessee that Americans look at and say something about those people I like. I think I want to visit there, move my business there, or move there myself. So thank you for who you are and what this community that you create, especially right here in East Tennessee, where it is smoking. <laughs> and we we know it and we are we're real happy about that you know what what's happening here is evidence that it's smoking and Don Wasik and B. Raplin made the decision to invest an enormous amount of capital here and what would be typically known as a big risk but they know and it's not a big risk because they know the people of Tennessee I leaned over to him to, to be here a few minutes ago and I said these are your people. This is the, the what you what you sell, what you do, what you represent here. This is the kind of thing that the people in our state appreciate and love. That's why so many of y'all are out here. That's why so many people are here to celebrate this opening. Uh, Beaver Applin and I met each other a few years ago at a at a football game. And when I met him and we talked about what his business was and what his vision was for his business, it had already been unfolding for decades, but his future vision for what it would be, I knew that this was a person that needed to be investing big in Tennessee. And I, I encouraged him to do so, and he already had plans to do so, but I told him then, I said, you open the biggest store in our state and I'll be there. And I'm proud to be standing alongside him today. If you read the story, about this great American story that is manifest here today, it's impressive. He, he comes from a rich history of a family business who understands what it means to serve his customers and to be rewarded for such and to turn around and invest back in the communities that, that uh, have invested in their store. So I'm very proud to, uh, to introduce to you the founder of this great company, the man who has, along with his partner, who's here today as well, Don Wasser, has invested in Tennessee 
and added one more check mark to the list of items that makes Tennessee the greatest place in America, Beaver Applin. Oh my. What a warm Tennessee welcome, thank y'all. <coughs> Been a lot, been a lot said. <clears throat> this has been a long time coming, but I just want to uh, just start by uh, telling everyone here that everyone at Bucky's is so humble for the uh, for the welcome and the uh, just the way you guys show up, the way you attend, the way you you love what we do. It makes uh, my partner and I feel really, really good for uh, people to love what we do, and so. I want to thank y'all. There's been people here since the wee hours of the morning. There's been people traveled from long, long ways to come for a, a, a store opening. So thank y'all for that. Um, <clears throat> what the governor said is right. You know, I uh, I told him that I wanted to be in Tennessee, and he said, well, if you build one, I'll be there, and I'll be dying if he didn't show up. So uh, y'all have a great governor. You have a great state. You know, there's been a fair amount of comparison, it seems, this morning between Texas and Tennessee and probably fair enough and uh, there may be some truth to the fact that uh, if y'all hadn't given us Davy Crockett and Sam Houston there may not be a Texas so so thank y'all for that but um, we're here I came here many years ago looked at this I'd never seen a town like this it just crawls with people in the community, in the county, and everyone here is on vacation, and everyone's looking for something like this. Um, but wow, I couldn't find a place, and I looked at the top of that mountain, and I said, how do you do that? And this was a mountain here, and, and left and went back and, and continued looking. And one day I got a call that the, um, that the Cherokee Nation owned this property, and that they just felt like they may could take the top off of a mountain for Bucky. So you would have to see this to believe it. I mean, this literally was the top of a mountain. So, so thank y'all, thank y'all for that. Thank you very much because this wouldn't have happened. This wouldn't have happened with, without the, without them. It just wouldn't. Uh, this is the world's largest uh, Bucky's, and and when this the way this transpired is. I, I highly suspect this very well will be the busiest store that we've ever built, which is why we designed a new prototype. We've never designed it for, before. It's about 45% bigger than a normal store that we build. Um, and we thought this was the location to build it. So we designed it and we built it. Uh, the one thing that didn't occur to me is how many of my Texas friends I would make mad about doing that. <laughs> so, uh, so just as a personal note, I had to fix that. So uh, we have designed and built in a store slightly small, uh, larger in, in Luling, Texas. But um, this was created, this entire design was created by how fabulous this community is. The tourism that they mentioned, that the governor mentions. Um, uh, it's just incredible here, the people. So we're excited about being at the gateway of the nation's busiest national park. When you think about that a minute, that's a that's a really, really big thing. Um, the mayor um, mentioned that that his uh, mayor, I don't know, daughter or granddaughter said she'd rather go to uh, Bucky's than than Disney, and so that's a great mark. That's a great bar. Uh, makes us feel great. Uh, but we, our next business is, is to get her to be as uh, excited about coming to Bucky's as Dolly World. So that's what we're working on. Is. <laughs> Disney's one thing, but Dolly World, that's next level. So. Uh, but anyway, we, we thank y'all for that. Uh, <clears throat> we do enjoy being part of the community. Um, one thing we like is, is the employment base here. The people, was mentioned earlier, are just incredible. I've asked all the people that work for Bucky's, how's our crew, how are our people, and they are just top notch. And so we're so excited. My job is easy. I get up here and get to say hello and welcome everybody, but it's the 8,500 people that make this thing go and the people behind us. Um, so when we come to community, uh, my partner Don and I, we take great pride in, in our pay scale. You'll probably seen the billboards. We're over the top on pay, uh, and we think that that's important for people to have a liv livable wage. 
and uh, we've already hired over 400 people just for this store open. And, and I'm talking about full time, 400 full time people. So, so you know, we we really really enjoy that. We look forward to being in the community. Uh, being here. This is going to be a phenomenal location for a long, long time to come. We're blessed. God blessed us. Uh, the, the horrible thunderstorms that blew through have gone, and it's just a beautiful day. So I want to thank everybody for coming. I hope y'all get to experience uh, the Buckies. It, it's what our vision is to bring to new communities, to new travelers, for them to get to experience. Oh, need a medic, somebody, please. Doctor anywhere? Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm about to but exactly. This, I'm gonna let the governor ask. Well, I just walked up and said, could, could we, uh, if you would please, if you're, if you're so inclined, let's pray for this man right now. Father, we thank you. Maybe up front. Where do they tend to go? Can you pull a picture from, yeah. the, from a phone, from a yeah. video? Uh, yeah, well, IL-17 you can. I just never try to build any. Okay. I've only ever tried people. I still like to get a regular photo. It's going to yeah. cut out when, it gets, when you go in.
Otherwise, we're just going to get it.
He said, welcome to Buck. Can I watch it real quick? No, we'll watch it later. <laughs> I, said, I had it in my hand, wait, I was standing there waiting for him, and he, he, got, he went right to the camera. See, you at the... We got a stick in Since you've been here. Huh? So you haven't bought anything yet since you've been here. Well, I'm saying I'm probably going back tomorrow. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm saying you're going to be here. I'm saying you're going to be here. Yeah. I'm going to get the best. I'm tired of it. How far have they got? Now. Not too far. I'm going to take the floor in that. by this. I need a cameraman. I barely had myself in the dark and shot this whole time. How's what? How's your experience? Good so far. I just wish I had a better mic. Is it on lock or something? Uh -huh. Oh, there it is. It was following that way, but it's not. Set it on zero. Set it on zero. Set it on zero. Huh?
but they, they walk around with the phone.
I'm all good read. Still getting used to it. Which way? Oh, what the turns are. His check no more. Are you are you over his check? Yeah, I'm gonna transfer it to for for the pay. Order number two two nine. Ready for pay two two nine. And bathing suit. You know they uh you know they took my dad. Not having it, I have to have pay no more. They said since uh you're jumping around on pay you, they're just gonna let you have your own check. He, 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 this is where the next one's going to be. Where? Is it? Clarksville. Well, sure. Mm -hmm. oh. I won't never be around that area. I will. He's general manager, I see him. I see him earlier. Here's some, man. It's not that old, man. I have this one. Yeah. Something. I already know it. <laughs> Make those. Where'd you see them at? Where'd you see them at? Ain't those. 
Start bailing the store. Yep. <laughs> That's when I'll buy. Three forty-six. You ready to pick up? Three, four, six. Oh, they got more right there. Oh, it does. Yeah. I think this is the only one that does. See? Oh, wow, did you see it? Yeah. You want a rubby dicky? Here's your lane mode without the bite my back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I already got one of those cups. <laughs> okay. All right, you want to start heading out? Yeah. You want to start heading out? Huh? You start heading out? We can, but I need to make it. You can go that way. I'm paying. I can get in your car. Huh? I think I can get in your car, though. I got your keys. Yeah. Or do you? And I have my car. I know that. I'll be in the car, so it don't matter. <laughs> To get out of the way. Okay. Put, put the lock on. Your face? Yeah. There you go. You're on me with my head turned? Yeah. <laughs> What's your picture of Bucky? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Mm. Also, kids doing it. I know. Look, look where it's at. Oh, sorry. If an officer can do it, you can do it. <laughs> Just wait. Oh, you're oh. mag. Hey, don't put it in my pocket. I don't want to. I don't want to get kicked out of the the buckies I want to come to all the time. <laughs> Go get a hug from the beaver. I'll try. I 
go to my bedroom. Get lost, yeah. Come on, get up. Spend all the money. Yeah. You should pull to a gas pump. I see it on Those shirts, but where's the cycle through all the fun? That screen cycles through all the box. Yeah. It tells you 16 and 17. <laughs> I'm seeing this happen on the thing and of course the front camera. That way you confirm that that's the car. Like, is this your best? <laughs> uh huh. It's cool how they do that. Man. Yeah, it is cool. They embrace it. And they try to keep it Thank you. 